just waiting for it to show up on the Bron Stacco's account so I can keep an eye on the chat. Um. Yep, there we go. I believe it's okay. Cool. I can see everything now. I just um, let that advert play, but assuming everyone can hear me, um, let's just say welcome to the second round of the playoffs for the Fire Tier. This match today between Brittany Beers and To Be Decided will decide third and fourth place for our league. Um, so it's quite exciting. Both teams are fighting for a higher spot. But also this is the last game of the season. So it should be quite interesting to see what happens. Um, we do have a fellow caster here who will be controlling cameras but won't be talking. So I'll be doing most of the talking tonight. Um, if I miss anything, if there's anything I didn't get to say, just... Give me a shout um, and I'll try and call it out for you. But other than that, we will wait on readies from each team and then we will get underway. First, map B and Lee Jang Tower, starting off with a control map. Uh, we've got Dia and Big Richard on tank for Brittany Beers. Now we then I have Crod and Tower. Barry for DPS for Brittany Beers. And then on support, I believe we have Cypher and Holy Chuck. And then on the side of To Be Decided, we have Pokin and Mo Black on tank. We have FB and Xliv on DPS. And then Bean and Becca on support. But yeah, that's it. let's see how, see how this goes. See what both teams are looking to come out with here. This as well is our fire tier, so this is the highest tier that we currently have. Um, and so we'll see how well this plays. Obviously we had our Verde tier championship match yesterday, with Brittany Tears coming out on top of the league, taking away the championship. Golden Grind taking second place. And as I mentioned earlier, today will today we'll decide who takes home third and fourth place for the fire tier. So, Dia and Big Richard on the Sigma and the Wrecking Ball. We've got Symmetra and Farah with a Lucio and then the Mercy to support the Pharmacy on the side of Brittany Beers. And a standard Ryan and Zarya on the side of To Be Decided with a Pharmacy as well. Both, I mean, the Farah getting the advantage on the side of Brittany Beers, but the Farah did also take out the Symmetra on the side of. Um, well, to actually took out Kron on the side of Brittany Beers. Yeah, they are just fighting over point presence, but it looks like Brittany Beers might be taking the first cap. We decided are now contesting. But the Mobile sent it into the background then. But while well, it looks like to be decided might be coming off the top, Kron getting taken out early once again. The first pick on the side of Brittany. Res does come through. Oh, and Big Richard goes off the edge of the map, that's unfortunate. But right now, it looks like uh, to be decided do have the numbers. Kron unfortunately not being the first person taken out. To be decided to capitalize on that and have taken the uh, position. So what looked like it was going to Brittany Beers initially got flipped to to be decided. So we will see what happens now. It doesn't look like we've had any comp changes. We've still got the signal, we've still got the record ball. Richard is now pressuring the point. <laughs> Nice bit of old charge. We have got, we've got Coalescence, I'm a mean straight off the map. And Cycle really went down as well, it was a double, double boot. Excellent putting in work on this far to like, challenge of Brittany Beers to step forward. Um, and unfortunately, Kron only just making the swap over to the soldier, so it's got a little bit less off charge. Um, Brittany Beers not quite getting out here, they are being stagger killed and Kron is dropping in behind. That's a huge barrage. From nowhere, Brittany Beers are now going to have to pull the set, they've got no other choice. Only 50% on the side of uh, to be decided though, so it could be quite easy for Brittany to come back into this and get some positioning. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the mines on the side of Brittany Beers either, where it might have got used in that back room. To no avail. I also didn't see the shatter come through, so 
What's coming through from Dia? Come on, get a boost off the edge again. Barry trying to make a difference, but FB coming through with the visor. Just, just so. That's it. That's, that, that's what we've signed on there, guys. They're now taking the kill home. Pretty bees have got one more push now to, to touch point and potentially flip it. Fortunately, they've only got the, the valve and uh, potentially get the beat up as well, but Dia's just made a last minute swap over to Hog. And Bean gets the double orb kill. Red's coming through on Scram. Richard did touch point, so it will initiate over time, but. And then Cypher's got the, the valve going. She's going low, though. Unfortunately, she's just gone down. Looks like this map might be going to be decided. Nice little celebration barrage. Chuck trying to touch last second, but. Shatter just to finish him off. So, I mean, what looked like it was quite dominant on the side of Pretty B is from that initial push, they got the, to the point first uh, to be decided dominated for the rest of it then. Differences happening on both sides, but I don't know, it kind of feels like to be decided, literally decided what they were going to do. They made a decision, they stuck with it, and then they pushed forward. Right now we've still got Dia on the Hog and Richard on the ball. Uh, Mo Black's making the swap over to Winston. Is he just trolling on this? He's just trolling on this. He's staying on the right. But yeah, so it's basically the same composition coming up from the side of uh, To Be Decided. We have got Dia swapping onto the Zarya though to go with the ball, which is quite an unusual combination. The Tracer and the Soldier. Soldier action uh, to oppose the Fire Rebel. To be decided, head straight to both. They've got point presence right now. Pretty B is off to fight them, but Pretty B is getting the picks. Barry getting two picks now, and Richard getting one, and that's the second one for Richard. The, the tracer and the wrecking ball are doing damage. I don't think I don't think to be decided. We're expecting the um, the Zarya, but I mean FB getting two on the way out. That they stack kills that mean that to be decided can push back into this now. Exliv has already got almost 70% full charge and the fight has barely begun. They are the first person to go down though. Mo Black charges straight into point. Dia unfortunately killing himself. The Red's coming through onto Exliv as well. Easy to be decided to look right now. They've got the numbers. Looks like they might just be taking this. A nice early percentage for the pretty Dia's though. They've got him nearly. They've made their mark on the point. Mine's coming out quite late. I wonder whether that was a decision that you know should have been avoided considering they're down. If those guys X live, it's whether they can turn it round now. And it's well, I suppose, to be under the age percentage as well, it keeps it going. Richard going really, really low. He nearly got out, but he didn't get out in the end. The rest comes through to X live, and there's the barrage. A little bit of a clean up now for to be decided, but it went from having 25% to 51%, so maybe the mines were a good decision. To be decided, I'm going to meet them at the spawn door now, though, and X live has been. There's the shatter coming through from Mo Black. Looks like Richard might not be able to get out. Yep, he's not getting out. So they're just getting the stagger kills. And this should be a full reset on the side of Britney Beers. I mean, Exlift's just used the barrage and they're on 50% of their ult already. You have got a lot of ults coming up on. I mean, to be decided, we've got the ults to hold. But um, Britney Beers are also. Building up there, oh, Dia goes down just before getting the, the grab. That's unfortunate. But yeah, they've got both support ults on the side of Britney Beers. Mo Black just checking point to make sure that the the, uh, the wrecking ball is in check. Ball has been found. Ball's going after FB. Cypher charging into the Pebble Essence doesn't really seem to be getting much out of it, but they are on point now. Massive grab, but he could be saved. Drives through Britney Beers, but then X live on top of the barrage. And <laughs> Zarya's gun goes flying into the distance. It's just Barry on point now, but that was a heavy ultimate investment on the side of both teams, to be fair. Grav on both sides. Barrage. But on the side of to be decided, they invest a lot more ults, they kind of reset. You have got mines, which have just come out now. What taking down the Zarya, but the resurrection come through. 
Unfortunately, Barry got taken down, and the, uh, the post bomb will be quite crucial right now. Kwan going down to a fire strike from Mo Black. Richard is finding the kill on FB though. Comes in for the pile drive. Building up more of that old charge. Pulse bomb still going. Dia going low though. Poor Brittany Beers might be able to turn this. Shatter coming through catches the majority of the members of Brittany Beers there though from Mo Black. That's a fantastic shatter. It is a bit back and forth right now though, but it looks like to be decided we might just be getting the cleaner kills. Brittany are really trying to stay in this right now, but uh, to be decided how the numbers. It, 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 this game might just be going. Tracer can touch, keep the overtime going, but how likely is it to make it happen again, get killed on the way back in? First map going to, to be decided. Right, so well, let's have a little look. You guys. Come on now, you're gonna make me blush. You can't even see it, but you're gonna make me blush. Will this be the grab one, or will this be on the first? First map. Oh, this will be the double boot. Yep. And then the Mercy after that, unfortunately, Cypher couldn't argue me to anyone and stay alive. Look at the accuracy on that. It was just beautiful. Nicely done, eh? Nicely done. And all the cards go into to be decided. Yeah, well, um, so now what will happen is we will see whether... Uh, well, we'll see where Brittany want to take us. It will be a hybrid map, so we might see King's Row, we might see Heikenwald. Um, that's just my predictions anyway. Um, and then after we will see whether to be decided whether we'll attack or defend first. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll wait for lineups and we'll, while we're doing that we'll just check the chat. Hello there Char and innocently skies. <laughs> Innocent innocently SKZ. How else how else would you say that? Innocently sk C D T yeah, welcome to the chat, guys. Um, I agree, CDT is very interesting that ball was the choice. Um, especially playing more around point. On on that type of map, for myself, if I'm playing ball, I'm obviously aiming for boot potential, but ball was kind of with his team. I feel like he potentially would have done a lot better trying to harass. But obviously, this is a different level. I play in a lower level, so who knows what... Well, the fire tier are thinking right now. Um, well, I mean, Char, you asked for the swap to the Moira, and it did happen for the second map. Um, oh, I mean, I see what you're saying. Exlive could be 44, but I'm going to keep saying Exlive. I like how it sounds. Um, yeah, guys, just, I mean, thank you for being here and, and keeping it nice and active. Um, <laughs> Char, come on now, pack it in, behave. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we will we'll see where this takes us now. Um, and we'll see what sort of swaps we have, what sort of compositions we might see come through. Um, so yeah, I mean, Mo Black played really well on the Rhine. I think he, he pressured really well. And Pokin as a support on the Zarya was fantastic as well. I've I personally only played with Mo Black when he's been the off tank and I've been the main tank, so it was very interesting to see. There was times where I thought that a decision had been made that would not wouldn't really work and then it did. So it's interesting to see to be decided coming out on top when on both occasions Britney Beers took the point first. They they had presence on the point first and they were the people who were well, you would think would turn the fight in their favour but to be decided did really well holding on to the presence when they had it even on in the sort of last few moments there when it looked like Britney Beers were tearing it as the spawners came back on the side of to be decided um, they managed to keep it up and in the end had the numbers over Britney Beers so yeah that's quite interesting <laughs> <laughs> listen I ain't got a face cam okay it's not happening sorry child yeah, let's have a little look. Let's see. Um, let's see where we're potentially headed with our lineups, um, and what map we might be visiting as well. Okay, so we, it looks like we are having uh, Iskra and Dia 
on the tanks for Britney Beers, um, which is so Richard is swapping off and going into the spectator zone for now. We have a uh, Stro and Barry staying on, well, on the DPS. Stro coming in for um, who did he come in for? Then one second for Cron. So Stro coming in for Cron, and then we have Cipher and Chuck on uh, support again. Uh, and well, looks like we are going to King's Row, which you know, I'm not gonna say I predicted it, but I predicted it. Okay, uh, and we will then see whether to be decided decide whether they are attacking or defending first. Um, so it looks like the lineup for to be decided is staying the same. Pokin and Mo Black on the main tanks. We have FB and Xlev on the DPS, and then Bean and Becker on our support line. Um, which I suppose is the support line is the unsung heroes of the Overwatch game. People keeping everyone alive. So we are staying the way we are staying. Uh, Britney Beers are going to defend first, and to be decided, are going to attack first. Uh, we will see what Dia and Iskra pull out. Um, obviously, we, when we were just playing them, we seen Dia play Zarya. Uh, we seen him play Sig. No, seen them play Sigma. And we also seen them play the Roadhog. Um, I personally haven't watched Iskra play, so we'll have to see what he comes out with. And obviously Richard was on the ball for the majority of those the game then as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Obviously we've seen Cypher flex the, the Moira and the Mercy tonight, and then Chuck was on the Lucio. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens going forward. I do love a bit of King's Row myself, to be honest. It is one of those maps that you can stalemate on, or you can run away with, um, or you can just, well, you can have a good time with, so, but yeah, we'll, um, <laughs> we'll see what, we'll see what happens, but yeah, looks like the game is about to start, and we'll see where we go now from there, I appreciate that CD team, I do like to, you know, be a nice person, but, and I, well, I, I do apologise as well, though, because you're, that's it, you know, Xlive is where I'm standing on this one. <laughs> Until I get told by Xlive that it's 44. Is that the, is that the, um, no, isn't it 42, the answer to the universe for Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Making a total show myself now if I'm wrong, but we'll see. But yeah, as the game begins then, let's see what, um, see what happens. Ready for battle. I appreciate all of you guys, I really do. Um, I also, I mean, I agree, to be honest with you, Char. If, if I had point advantage, I probably would be the people defending first. Um, on a map like this as well, I, I kind of would prefer to defend first to see what the other team pulls out uh, on their attack. But I think maybe to be decided and doing the same thing, really. Um, so right now we're looking at a uh, Zarya with a Ran on the side of to be decided. The Junkrat and Farah combination, which is interesting, and then a Mercy Brigitte. Um, so looks like uh, to be decided really want to get in, in the faces of Britney Beers right now. And then we've got Diva and Ryan on the side of Britney Beers with the Junkrat and the uh, McGree and the Moira Lucia. Britney B is deciding to hold on point to give the, to be decided the space to push forward. Xlib already at 20% hold charge as well as FB. So they're doing really well. Cypher's building up that LOS is quite fast as well. Obviously if um, um, Dia does get demacked, um, and it looks like to be decided are pressuring the point. Britney B is deciding to give them space, but how much space are they willing to give them? Cypher getting taken down to be decided are oh, now getting picks. Kind of, you kind of wonder what the shock call them is like on the side of Britney Beers, to be honest with you. Because they gave them space, they pulled back, and then they just kind of let them walk onto points. So we'll see what happens now. Xlive pushing forward, trying to get some of those stagger kills from Spawn. Barry has swapped over to the um, soldier, and Strozzle is now on the Ash. So we have a double hit scan to go up against the Farah Mercy. Exliv is just lethal on that far I'm sorry, he's hitting those rockets from a mile away. He takes out Chuck and he's taking the off angles to keep Britney he is pressured. Right now, to be decided, I've got the, the ults. 
They've got window, they've got barrage, they've got mullet on the shatter. There's the barrage coming from the back. Doesn't find anyone this time though. However, it might have just been to create space to allow the um, the rest to come through on to no black. Cavalry essence um, should allow Brittany Beers to push forward and take some space. They have got shatter on the side of to be decided though. Let's see what Mel decides to do with that one. He lays it down, he misses it unfortunately. Coming, uh, Iskra does get fired too with his shatter, uh, which could be pivotal. Lamp comes out on the side of to be decided. Uh, we could see the tyre come out and grab. We could see a grab tyre happen now. Pretty beans are quite close. There's the, there's the, um, the B coming through, but now we've got the visor on the side of Pretty Beers. Window coming out on the side of to be decided. Another shatter for Iskra, but unfortunately he gets killed out of it. He built that really well though, tyre finding one. To be decided have set a really, really fast time right now. If they can push it all the way through, if they can do it without any contested, then, it, you know, they're looking at like a five minute, six minute time bank right now. That's insane. Five and a half minute time bank. However, their point, especially on behalf of Afara, is a lot harder to play. Excellent has been playing really, really well, hitting those rockets from a mile away, but it, it could be quite hard to play Afara into this. I think Brittany Beers need to push forward and stop them from taking space. They've got the pick on to Mo Black now, and they've got the pick on to the, the um, Baptiste as well. They need to watch out for the FB on the, the left side. But Brittany Beers are taking this right now. Uh, Cypher going back. Is Cypher uh, swapping, I wonder? Cypher's going back to spawn. She might be making the change. We could see the Mercy come out um, again. Dia getting demecked. Dia seems to be pushing a little bit too far sometimes. Right now, Dia's got to wait for the mech to come back, and that gives to be decided an advantage. An advantage that they don't want to give to the two to be decided. They've already got a four and a half minute time back. We could see the barrage come out. We will, we will have to keep an eye on excellent. There's the bot though, into the back line, which is a fantastic place to put him. And excellent gets killed out of the. They find each other, the soldier finding the bar at the same time. The res coming through onto the soldier. No black does find the kill on Dia though, and there's the window. Just have to be careful now on the side of the side. Two going down from the shatter, but there's no follow up unfortunately. Dia has got the bomb, uh, but unfortunately they haven't to give to be decided space right now. It's to be decided with got the numbers. Bomb on point. Immortality coming out, but gets shielded by no black anyway, so. Uh, Becca has taken space on top of the platform just to provide some. But here comes the visor from Barry once again. It was quite successful last time, finding multiple um, kills. So he decided just kiting it, just giving them space. No black shield is really low though, so this could be an advantage for the side of Brittany Beers. You have got Tyre and Shatter, as well as Grav, coming up on the side of to be decided. We've got a lot of ults to work with right now. The red's coming through on too strong to keep him alive. So yeah, almost getting demet once again. Cypher went down and she, well, there you go, she went low and she went down. Barry took out uh, FB, the uh, visor coming through from... Mo Black getting killed out of the shatter there. Sorry, the visor was from Exlid. Holy Truck getting the kill onto Pokin. So Brittany Beers are, they're coming back now, they, they, they gave them the space and then they kited the ults and then they put them work in to make sure that, to be decided now that they need to back off a little bit and give them space. Unfortunately though, Dia getting demecked once again, it just, it gives, it gives to be decided an advantage, it lets them walk in uncontested and they could get the kill onto Dia and then Dia has to go back to spawn. Pokin making the swap onto the Dia, so the, the grab got used and then they swapped straight away. Excellent. On the swap onto the soldier, isn't doing as well. The resurrection coming through there though. Becca getting the fire strike to the face could have been crucial. But unfortunately, they, uh, they managed to get the res up. And now both teams have got full members. The Bob coming out on the side of the struggle. Not quite sure where it was. The Shatter trying to come through on the side of Britney Beers as well to change things, but didn't find anyone. I think got blocked by no black. To be decided now, we literally need to make a decision as to whether they move forward. Tire and window. No black taking space. But Barry coming out with the visor. 
And the bomb. The bomb is gonna de mech. Oh, the bomb knocks Deer off the edge. Sorry, Poke it off the edge. Of he did get the kill onto the Junkrat, but then he gets rezzed. Sorry. FP got the kill onto the soldier. The soldier gets rezzed and then takes the kill as well. Chuck's another one who, who keeps getting caught out, unfortunately. And no black shield wasn't, just wasn't there in time to stop uh, Exlith going down to the rockets. I imagine Exlith feels quite frustrated now playing the soldier. The Faro was really, really successful on the first push. But again, it's very hard to play on the inside here. Especially with the high ground that Strozzle can take and will damage Tire coming in over the top. Almost got air uh, destroyed. And it does find Strozzle. The air did try to fly up after it and prevent that from happening. Siphon might be able to go up and get the res. It looks like she will. However, Bussy was there to prevent it from happening. They kind of, they called that, they predicted that. That was very a very predictive play on the side of the reviews. The air being demeched. The visor coming through and to be decided are now able to push. They've got the advantage, they've got the numbers. If they can keep Iskra alive, Iskra could get the Shatter through. Shatter coming through catches too. No black going down as well as Exlive on the soldier. The Rhymes are just fighting. Oh no! Iskra goes off the edge, charged straight off the edge. No black finding the kill onto Cypher. It looks like to be decided. Might be able to push this forward. Britney are just trying to get the two overtime, but they missed it by five seconds. Just five seconds. Okay, well, now Britney need to take it, and they need to push forward, and they need to do the exact same thing and get a better time bank. So we will see what happens and what each team pulls out. We saw the Rhine and the Tsar, well, the Rhine Diva on the side of Brittany Beers on their defence, and we saw the Rhine Zarya on the attack on the side of To Be Decided. So let's see what uh, both teams decide to do themselves um, in the opposite way. What will To Be Decided do on the defence? To Be Decided are currently running the Sigma with the Rhine the um, Junkrat with a McCree and then the Bap with the Mercy and then on the side Attackers of Gritty Beers who will now be attacking we've got Ryan Diva again uh, a Farah and well what was looking like a Widow but is now a Hanzo Cypher is going on to the Arna and we are just waiting for Chuck to see what uh, they are going to play potentially might see the Mercy come out from Chuck uh, but I'm not too sure on his hero pool so we will see what is going to happen. Five, four, Chuck, three, unfortunately, two, still hasn't decided. One. Uh, see what happens there. Uh, and oh, Chuck coming out on the Lucio, sticking to what he's been playing. The trap up on the top, but it is destroyed instantly by Dia. Excellent getting the kill onto Strozzle straight away. The, the, the hit scan coming out there and being proficient, and there's no res to come through on the side of Brittany Dia's either. So, uh, to be decided right now, not doing what Brittany did, they're not going back to points, they're, they're, they're holding this choke and they're holding this space and they're saying, come on, push forward, they're really, really trying to hold on right now. Dia getting the mech back, which is uh, obviously crucial. They are now going round the statue, uh, speed boost on right now. You've got oh, the, the Reaper swap, so we have the Faro, but they've swapped to the Reaper, Strozzle is now on the Reaper. I knew coming through from Exlib already, that's incredible. It is being kited though. Um, Brittany B is just taking space and getting onto line of sight. Mo Black is slept. Fire Strike only coming through. The Red's coming through onto uh, FB there. And the, well, and the hands are out as well. The Dragon's coming through from Isra getting two with the Fire Strike. There's the Nano. Straight, he's after the Sigma. They want this, they really, really want this. Unfortunately, the Ryan getting trapped. Uh, Dia trying to just pressure out Becca on the Mercy. The Junkrat is still there. They're going after him now and they get the kill. They get the stack of kills. They are just pushing forward. They want to make sure that to be. Iskra is by himself though. He's all alone right now. I wonder whether to be decided to kill that. Five strike kill out to Pokin. Those five strikes have been lethal from Iskra this time. And there we have it. Four minutes and four to five seconds on the tie bank. See, even though Britney Beers, even though to be decided, 
went up to the choke and took that space, Brittany B has still managed to capitalise. Exley was unable to find anything on the side of his uh, dead eye, but to be decided have got the ults now. Mo Black getting the shatter on 2 2. And to be decided, really want to push forward now. They need to push forward and take this space. The best bet for them would to be holding this choke here. They want to, they want to have this. Um, they want to hold this archway. It, I mean, it's unfortunate that they didn't push forward there. They really could have been crucial, but I suppose there you have it. Two, the tire coming through from FB kills two and also killed Chuck out of his ult. So Brittany have just lost. The sound barrier there. The reds coming through onto FB and now to be decided are at full capacity. They've got almost five ults coming up, four that are ready, and Mo Black will have shatter. On the side of Brittany Beers, uh, again, four ults. Nano will be here too. If Dia can hold on to that mech, they um, won't have to be forced into using self destruct just for the sake of the remake. But we will see what happens. Barry going down before and to use that dragon is really unfortunate. Sorry, I went quiet that I had to yawn. But the the bomb going through to the back to potentially cut off some of the members after the grab came through, but the grab was a lot more crucial and did a lot more work. Uh, Dia has now made the swap over to Zarya, though, so that's potentially another reason as to why the bomb was thrown. Again, though, ult economy-wise, to be decided, are looking a lot better. They're managing their ults one at a time, one ult after another, and Cypher going down so early in the fight, unfortunately. Especially with Nana and Wait. Ult coming through from both sides. Shatter from both sides. And the, the Strozzle taken out two with the tire and one beforehand. So Brittany Beers have got space now. They can walk forward. When Cypher comes back into the fight, they'll have Nana to support it as well. So you've got, you know, Dia getting the kill onto FB as well. This is this is fantastic for Brittany. Brittany can now push this payload forward and have a have a fight at this choke. To be decided, might want to push forward though and, and meet them early, but Brittany Beers have got to decide what to do. It's the dragons coming through and they're caught in that corner, that's unfortunate. Uh, Iskra just kind of swinging at them, holding Chuffy in the face to go down. There's the Nano coming through. Iskra trying to build up to that shatter. Taking on Mo Black, but it's, it's kills on both sides right now. Um, to be decided, they've got the numbers and they've got the spawn advantage. Cypher's the last one on cart, on cart right now. Gets to sleep onto x which is unfortunate. Cypher just tried to get out, but is stagger killed. It was a nice little nade at the end, but... To be decided, came back there. I think Brittany Beers needed to make an executive decision to push forward a lot sooner than they did. Um, but there we go. Cypher has now changed over to the Moira. Uh, so we've got a bit of a brawly comp going on. As you can see, though, Becca and the McCree are sneaking up the top to get the high noon from behind. It didn't work as well as they wanted it to though, unfortunately. They are now going back round to try and um, prevent the kill from going on. Strozzle is chasing them, so they now have to be careful. We have to see what happens up here. It could be and Strozzle gets taken out by Exlib. At the end of the day, Exlib was being pocketed by the Mercy, so that is unfortunate. But it was a good move. They have now got two of their members in the background. Uh, they are letting them get out though. And unfortunately, it just means that Brittany are quite split now. They're not sure what way to fight, what way to face. However, it's working on behalf of Brittany though. The, 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 um, the split nature of what was happening has allowed Brittany to come back in. If the, the tire takes out Cypher, it's just Dia on point now up against the, the Kree and the Bat. Um, it does work out into to be decided its favour though. For a moment there, it looked like it was going in Brittany Beers' favour. It looked like Brittany Beers would have been able to capitalise on that. But um, to be decided had the ults, I suppose. Uh, but right now, to be decided have used a lot of their ults. Uh, Excellent has built up another dead eye, and Mo Black's got the shatter. Uh, but you are looking at a potentially four ults. Oh well, there we go. Excellent getting taken. Uh, Excellent getting taken out by Strozzle, but Excellent did get Barry. So we'll have to see what happens. Mo Black coming through with the shatter. Mo Black is in a corner by himself though. They solo grab Mo Black. We wonder whether that was an investment that actually needed to happen. He's now being trapped and nobody could touch. So the map does go to be decided, and that's unfortunate. Holy Chuck did try to make his way round, but I think they just got distracted by what was going on. The grab coming, the solo grab coming through onto Mo Black. And then we have a uh, Strozzle with the play of the game. So the one from his standard fire and then two from the tire. There we go, there's the kill onto Exlid. 
and then attack on through to follow. Or as the chat likes to call it, 44. But yeah. So uh, obviously as I was casting guys I didn't get a chance to look at the chat, but let's see what you all got to say. Uh, I, I appreciate you saying that 42 was correct. Thank you very much, Char. Um, <laughs> CDT is joining us under the influence of alcohol, so we'll, uh, well, we might have to translate his messages. Um, but yeah, nothing like um, they, they wanted uh, Dia on the, the Diva to contest the uh, Fara some more on the side of Exlive, um, but also potentially the McCree as well. Um, But yeah, I mean, if we if we just also do point out, and as you mentioned in the chat as well, it was quite interesting that they, Brittany, going into third point um, to be decided had a five minute, twenty five second time bank. Like they had five and a half minutes, and to be decided didn't complete that map until there was five seconds left. So Brittany did a really good job of holding them. It's um, it's unfortunate there. I think I think what potentially happens is to be decided are potentially a little bit better at when they are down a couple of members at focusing other people and who to target whereas uh, Brittany when they're down a few members are kind of doing solo fights so they're looking for who they can take out as an individual whereas to be decided are potentially attacking it as a team um, but again the Brittany Beers did really really well in regards to swaps and uh, analysing what was going on and see what was happening with the situation and going actually well this is the swap that we're going to make right now and this is what we're going to say to uh, go with this so I, I really think that they definitely were talking and they're definitely trying to adjust to what was happening to them I think potentially to be decided had a better alt management and also with potentially making those decisions a little bit quicker and attacking a little bit faster and Britney Beers were potentially giving them too much space and were unsure it's those unsureties, it's those little few seconds that actually make a massive difference in a game like this but yeah, well, um, let's have a little look at what the chat is saying. Um, but yeah, no, I agree. They are on the side of all of everything. They are they are all playing really well. They're all kind of they're doing their own. Well, they're doing their own. Um, what's the word? They're, obviously they're playing their own strats and they're playing to their own strengths but each individual member is also doing a good job it, it is unfortunate on the side of the support line that Chuck was kind of the first person to be taken out and when you're playing a rush comp that involves a Reinhardt and a Zarya you kind of need that speed boost to keep you going so if there's a sp if there's a, if the other team have got that speed boost or the other team have got the extra damage to push into you that you can't escape from then it kind of decides the fight at the end of the day there um, but yeah, so we we are currently on match point. It is it will be first to three. Um, again, uh, Brittany Beers will decide the map, uh, and we are going to an escort map. So we could see Rialto, we could see Route sixty six, we could see Dorado, Watchpoint Gibraltar maybe. Um, what else? I think there are some other ones. I'm just. This is where my knowledge is tested, but yeah, we've um, I I would like to see Rialto. I imagine we, we might see Route 66 though because Farah is quite strong on that. However, Exlif plays a really strong Farah, so if Britney B has decided to go Route 66, then it wouldn't really work in their favour. But there we go, guys. Rialto it is. Um, I've I've seen teams push this to first point and then from first point get held get held quite a you know quite a lot um so it's it can be hard to get over that bridge especially if you set up in those windows and you've got a widow on one side and a bastion on the other like i wonder whether we will see any bastions come out but but yeah so match point right now to uh, to figure out whether britney beers ought to be decided to take third or fourth place in this matchup um i imagine i should probably be thinking about mvps um and I mean, if if there's plenty of you in the chat, do you guys want to keep an eye out on that for me as well and make some suggestions? Because 
I think I've been so focused on what's been happening, I, I haven't been able to see. Um, I, I think on the side of um, DPS, we can pretend, you know, I think we can definitely say that Xlift deserves an MVP here because they have they have been phenomenal on their old charge, and they've also been, you know, just hitting the hitting what they needed to hit at the times they needed to hit it. So, but yeah, we can see that. Uh, Chuck and Dia are now on the tank line. So Dia is still on the tank line, but Chuck has moved over from support to tank. We, uh, Iskra has come from tank into DPS as well. And then Big Richard and Kron are our, our support line, which Stroz will say on the uh, DPS as well. You've got Pokin staying on the tank line for to be decided. And you've also got Call Me King coming in from the spectator zone to play on tank as well. FB and Xlive are staying on as our DPS for to be decided and Ziptinks has come in on behalf of Bean to join Becker on the support line. Um, so yeah, I think maybe we potentially will see the pharmacy on the side of to be decided. Um, we also might see the pharmacy on the side of Britney Beers. Strozzle was playing a very good hit scan on the side of Britney Beers during the last section of King's Row on to be decided's attack. So we could see that the Ash comes out there as well. Um, again, unfortunately, I don't really know Iskra as a DPS or Big Richard and Kron as a support line. So I can't really make any predictions there. But um, we will see what happens uh, when the teams get into it and see where we go from there. Oh, Havana is also an escort map. Yeah, I forgot about Havana. Um, I think I prefer Rialto over Havana. Um, I like the last section of Rialto, especially as it goes inside, because even though the checkpoint is like right there to complete the map, it's really, really hard to get past if you set up and you have to stagger them because the spawn is far enough away. It's almost like with Volskaya, your spawn, or well, Temple of Anubis as well, your spawn is right there and the other team has to like march forever to get back. So there's always like a 30 second gap before that team can attack again. So, but yeah, oh, it looks like um, FB has um, left the game, so we might be having a change there. Uh, let me just go to, let me just have a little check to see what's happening here. Um, and yeah, I mean, you are, you're correct to be honest, Chart, with when it comes to the uh, elements of things, it's a bit like with King's Row, you've got the potential to snowball, you literally can just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, but again, I like the end of this map because I think even if it gets snowballed, you've got the opportunity to stop it. Um, oh well, and there we go. So to be decided, have decided to defend um, for their first round this time instead of attacking. Uh, so they're giving Britney Beers the chance to uh, roll them potentially, um, or well to set the superior time bank. Uh, or to be decided are saying that they, they they potentially want to hold them here and make this a quick match. So we will see what happens. Uh, okay, so it looks like uh, one of the players on the side of to be decided has had to do a internet reset. So uh, we're kind of glad that happened <laughs> outside of the game and not in the middle of the game. Um, so it should be just a, a couple of minutes uh, while we get that set up again. Um, But yeah, let's see. Um, we'll see what happens now. But yeah. Well, let's since we're waiting, I will take this time to introduce myself. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> the one who Welcome. does not want to talk. <laughs> Yeah, so this is Token, who is currently our camera operator. Uh, this is your second game that you've casted? Correct. So you, you had the fun of casting the Chaos that is All-Stars. I did. I did the Mild Tier All-Stars. Uh -huh. And this is definitely a lot less chaotic. <laughs> yeah, for than... sure. <laughs> 
because the roles are already decided and you get given lineups. You haven't got to decide lineups. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, I was just saying to chat there, we're waiting on somebody who's having to reset their internet. So, oh, and there we go. Just as we, as we mentioned them, they pop straight back into chat, into the game. I mean, not chat. Yeah, how are you finding it so far? It's pretty good. I hope chat loves my beautiful angles of everything. <laughs> yeah. Are you finding it hard to follow, or are you, is it is it quite good? I kind of try to follow like the fight and just set it up to where like a lot of the fights going on. So I I think I've been doing at least okay. Yeah. No. To be fair, obviously, because I'm spectating as well, I'm just following it however I follow it, and then. I mean, it yeah. helps that we have a beautiful commentator. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> beautiful cameras and beautiful commentating. Um, the chat are saying that you do have some great angles. Oh, thank way. you, chat. <laughs> much love. <laughs> They're asking me for the face cam. I'm like, no, oh, I'm okay, thank no. you. <laughs> Maybe next season. All right, time for my mic to go back off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, little pop in from Token there, and now we are heading into Rialto. Welcome to uh, and let's see what teams decide that they are going to bring out. Um, I'm just going to have a little drink, so I will mute the mic for a second chance. Please don't miss me too much. And I'm back. So we uh, we have got uh, to be decided on defense first, and we have got uh, Brittany Beers on attack first. Now let's see what the teams decide that they want to do. Okay, so we've got the Ryan coming out from Pokin, who's been our off tank currently, uh, is now playing the main tank, and we have Colby King on the Roadhog. Um, I wonder whether we will see some sneaky hooks Attackers from a bridge. FB on the soldier, and then Xliv on the Junkrat, not the far right, which is interesting. And then we have the Mercy in the back on the side of the support. Looks like we have Dia on the Reinhardt I and Holy Chuck on, on the Diva. We've got an Echo and a Farah coming out from Iskra and Strazzle. So we've got a double projectile, double flying characters. With the Mercy coming from Kron and the Arne on the side of Richard. It looks like Brittany Beers are going to go out high ground just to be safe. Um, and to be decided are setting up on there a little bit of high ground, giving them space. Just looking for the Roadhog. Um, um, I might be a blind and can't see him, he's hiding. Um, but right now, Oh, well, there you go. Strassel gets the boop on the Roadhog initially. The res coming through onto Iskra from Kron. Uh, Brittany Beers are pushing now. They've got a lot of space to, to work right now. Um, FB is in the background, being pocketed by the Mercy. Holichuk is kind of idle on the payload then. We decided to push them now. They've not given them as much space. Oaken has been slept though, so we'll see what happens there. Dia going for the pin, we're getting booped around everywhere by the Junkrat. And to be decided are now getting the kills. They halted Brittany in their tracks. Oh, it's a late tyre coming through from um to be decided. It is chasing the Farah and it does get Strozzle in the end. Oh, the Red's trying to come through from Kron. Kron does get the Red, but then gets taken out as well. And Strozzle getting stagger killed. Okay, I wonder what the um Look what the communications were there because Brittany was down a lot of members. It was basically only Kron alive, so we'll see what happens now anyway. The Echo trying to press from the back and then the Farah building up their ult as well. Tyre has just been used, but we've got Window on the side of to be decided, as well as Valk. There comes the Window, and then we will also see, well, we will more than likely see the Gravitic uh, Flux from the Sigma coming out as well. There's the Nano on the side of Brittany Pierce. Gets the kill onto Token. Pin coming through onto the Reinhardt as well. And the duplicate on the uh, Soldier. It's going getting a couple of kills. Building up that visor really fast. And now Brittany Beers need to get back to point and need to be pushing. They can take space. It's taking space as well on the way out. 
a random little um, rocket from to be decided. To be decided are pushing. They are wanting to take space, but Gia is trying to beat them. Oh, and that's a beautiful bomb coming through. Here's the tire though, and holy truck coming back with the with the three with the uh, boot off on off the edge as well onto um, the Baptiste. This is it, guys. This could be the snowball that we were talking about. We could now see Brittany B is pushing and pushing and pushing. They're going up. They're taking the high ground. They're leaving the back on the point to push. Brittany B is our one to take space. Strozzle doing an early barrage gets taken down, but takes two out with him. I don't think uh, Brittany are going to try and get the res. The clubs coming through. They take. They get the res onto Strozzle in the end, though. And there is the whole hard coming out on the side of to be decided. So a lot of ults invested there. Brittany Beers look like they might be just falling back, just just uh, taking a regroup. Excellent getting the kill onto Chuck and then Strozzle. Um, so we will just see what happens now. See this is it though, this is what I was talking about. Getting across this bridge could be hard. Especially when you've got a soldier up top on the high ground, you've got the back to support them. You've basically got two soldiers sat up on the high ground there. But you know, Brittany are pushing forward. Unfortunately, Dia's shield shield is getting battered though. Oh, King attempted the hook. And the, the, but there's the shatter, catches three on the side of to be decided. Iskra getting two with the beam, the focus beam. And Brittany Beers are pushing forward now. The red's coming through onto Dia. So Brittany Beers have got the numbers, they are pushing and they are fighting. Come on, come on Brittany, come on, let's take this to five maps. <laughs> let's do it. If you decided are doing a full regroup, they've basically got their entire team back now. We've got, well there's a, there's the uh, window on behalf of Brittany. That, I'm point, I'm point guys, touch point, touch point, come on now. You gotta push, you gotta push. Yes, there we go. Brittany B is. I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be biased. I'm not biased. Excellent in the background getting the stagger kills, but Brittany have now got the spawn advantage, so I don't think it'll make much difference. Dia is pushing forward. Uh, Richard on the Baptiste trying to support the uh, the Reinhardt. You've got another bomb coming up for Chuck. You've also got a uh, visor on the side of to be decided. Uh, they have made the swap over to the Zarya. Um, so there's no Sigma on the side of to be decided now. Uh, FB going down though, and there's the, the bomb in the background. Boken mustn't have had any shield. Yeah, his barrier was destroyed, so they just got taken out. The red's coming through though. And the shatter. Uh, high noon from both sides. Getting a bit chaotic now, guys. Uh, hammers are swinging. The uh, visor in the background forcing Brittany Beers to back off. We have got the duplicate on the side of this river. And um, Strozzle is trying to get an off angle. Two coming through through the fire strike with Dia through the window. Nice little support from Big Richard there. Uh, the resurrection coming through onto Dia again. Dia has been res four times this game already now, which is fantastic. Um, excellent. And we basically have the Zarya, the Mercy, and the. There's the Shatter coming through onto the Zarya. Shatter from behind now on behalf of to be decided, but no one's touching point. Brittany B has just walked it in. Two minutes, ten second time bank. Brittany B has I've just left that spawn door and gone, come on guys, it's time to win. Really well played, really well played, and it happened. It happened just as Char said. And once that snowball started going, it got stalled slightly after second point. But after that then it just kept going and pushing and pushing. So we'll see what happens now. We'll see what happens on the side of Brittany Beer's defence. Brittany Beer's have been uh, reluctant to take space when they've been on defence. They've been reluctant to push up against to be decided and say, listen, we're here, we're present, and we're going to make you fight for this. But maybe, maybe after that now, maybe after getting a two minute, ten minute, two minute, ten minute, Jesus, two minute, ten second time back on Rialto, they're willing to, uh, they're willing to do work now. So we've got the tar the Torb and the Tracer coming out for the DPS. So we they had the double uh, flying characters last round and now they've got a Torb and a Tracer. Uh, it's almost as if they've predicted what to be decided to do because to be decided to try to pull out the Sombra. Um they're looking for the EMP bomb. We can we can see that now already. 
But yeah, so we have got Diva and Ryan, Sombra and McCree, Arna and Mercy on the side of Team Decided on the attack. And then we've got Ryan and Diva, Tracer and Torb, and then Arna and Mercy on the side of Gritty Beers. FB is now in the background. Targeted the turret. Turret's destroyed straight away. The hack coming through onto Big Richard. Um, the, to be decided, I'll take his face right now. Brittany are off for the back. They're letting them come around the corner. But are they going to now take the fight to them? Deal looks like he wants to, but he hasn't got much support from his, his, um, the rest of his team. They're all turning around to deal with that Sombra. Deal, oh, Deal builds up an early shatter but gets stunned out of it by Exlid. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens now because it looks like Brittany Beers did get the kills there. They have they have stalled them a little bit now to see what happens. Uh, but yeah, you are right. Brittany Beers have come out and they're showing a different side to themselves now. Shatter coming through on the side of uh, the Reinhardt or to be decided. Both Nanos coming out. Uh, you can see that... Um, the Diva has been hacked, so wasn't able to bomb them. Um, and Britney Beers, uh, sorry, to be decided, might just be taking this now. But yeah, we'll see what happens um, as it as it comes through. Britney Beers are here; they want to take space, but it looks like um, to be decided are also up here. Bit of a battle of the Reinhardts, to be honest. The, uh, Bomb going in over the top. Chuck finding two, but the two came out from the dead eye as well. So we'll have to see who capitalises on this. There's the bomb throwing on the side of Brady Beers. The bomb coming through for to be decided does find the armor on the side of Brittany Beers. So Big Richard does go down to the Diva bomb. They have it is equal numbers right now though, and Brittany Beers do have a spawn advantage, so we'll see what they do with it. They are contesting the point still. Um Cormy King is going low. The EMP coming through though catches four members on the side of Britney Beers. Five members, sorry, including the Tracer, but the Tracer was slept at the time. So Britney Beers have got, they are, are pushing forward. They just do, they do have to be careful. Um, FB is being pressured by the Reinhardt. And it looks like Britney Beers have now capitalised on that. Okay, well it looks like Britney Beers are getting kills again with this initial fight. Exlip has just been killed out of the shatter. Um, it looks like FB might try the back cap though, but is is wary of it because the Torb is waiting close by. They, they, they're not going to give them the space. Britney Beers have pushed really far up right now. Oh, it looks like the back cap is trying to come through. <laughs> it is captured by Stroz though. Stroz does, does call it out and does go, whoa, no, I go, that's a bit too much. Well, 30 seconds left on the clock and Brittany Beers are holding them. Dia goes down though, Dia is Dia's being crucial in the past fights. Pushing forward. Uh, Exley finds the truck as well. Both tanks on the side of uh, Brittany Beers have gone down. Now the res coming through onto Corby King. Ishra is doing work in the background though and there's the Molten Core to try and stop them from pushing forward. But it's kind of too spread out. It, it, to be decided, Hori is taking the space. Dia is back from spawn though and has been slept. There's a purple on him, so he's unable to uh, push forward anymore. So pretty Beers are falling back now, but Dia gets taken down again. Again, though, there's the bomb from Holy Chuck. We'll see what happens with that. Nothing, unfortunately. Pretty Beers gave him the um, too much space for really. And then there's the bomb coming through as well. Doesn't find anyone. Pretty Beers are now the, the down numbers. The mech kill onto Iskra is unfortunate, and it looks like to be decided are oh, going to take the first move. Okay, so Britney Beers were doing really well then, like, um, really, really well, but I think they just they overextended a little bit too much, do you? And, um, 
Dia and Holy Chuck took a little bit too much space. The majority of to be decided have pushed forward now um, and left Exliv on the cart. But the uh, Brittany Beers have now got the numbers to push forward and take that space. Uh, we still see the Reinhardt, the Rein, uh, Dia, and the. Um, Well, deal with the shatter, sorry, my brain just rose for a second then. Deal with the shatter, and then we've got the Nano and the Valkyrie as well. To be decided right now, are being pressured out? That's a late D mech onto Pokin. They might just leave him there now. Uh, but the rest of his team are here, so it potentially would have been crucial to actually get that kill. Uh, you have got EMP on the side of the sleep over the ride, means that the EMP pushing the went quite well. Uh, not the EMP, the, the high unit. There's the EMP, catches two members. Big Richard getting the kill, uh, dying to the fire kind of fire strike. A massive shatter coming through on the side of the Dio though. Doing such a really good job. Um, there's the bomb coming through to the background. It's great getting the uh, rewind so it doesn't get taken out by it. Unfortunately the mech kill onto the Dio though. Let's see if Holy Touch Bomb gets anybody. Right now I think Britney Beers needs to take it out, they need to reset, they need to just they need to back off and let, let, let them push forward, give them space. Uh, it's great, it's still there, and it is close to the pulse bomb, so we'll see what happens. They will start pressuring the back line. Uh, X Live does get it quite easily, though. It's still King King, and then, yeah, kill is there. Call me King can swap back to Paul, potentially just for the uh, sake of touching. But it looks like, to be decided, I've just taken second point, but no issues. However, they have got the inferior time bank right now. Already less than what Britney Beers finished with. We've had the swap a uh, punch bottle onto the junk rat. The pulse bomb onto X Lip, but Gron is taken out by the dead eye, so Britney Beers do lose their mercy. Holy Truck has now been de mech as well. Only thing doing work on the on the record board. They're really, really, really pushing forward and um, and pressuring uh, Britney Beers. Uh, Dia charging in there, but I think he he needs to back off and give them space. Um it looks like uh, Iskra is in the back line, but I know that he's there. Iskra managed to get out. Um, Excellent has been quite good at stopping that tracer from moving forward. The stuns have been quite crucial. Before. But now they're in this archway. This is the archway that I believe you can call that. This is where you can really pressure a team and stop them from pushing forward. Dia is really low though, but that window is doing a fantastic job. Ryan with no barrier. Two, one person getting taken out by the visor, one person getting taken out by the bomb. Only took bomb is in the background though, can it find anyone? Unfortunately not. They do manage to get the remake, but they're taking out of it really fast. They have no, have no help at all. Iskra trying now to touch and potentially get to look at the pulse bomb. Doesn't find anyone. It looks like Britney, uh, to be decided, might be able to push this all the way. Can Britney be able to come back from this? There's the, the, um, the mines taking out Dia. Hoping getting the kill off to struggle. Richard being taken out by the mines as well. Uh, Britney Beers have got Chuck on point now, just 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 staggering, but we can't can we see anyone? I don't think anybody else is gonna be able to touch at this point. And there we have it guys. One minute time bank just to be decided and a three minute four second time bank for Britney Beers. So to be decided will be defending. And Brit no, will be attacking first and Britney Beers will be defending. To be fair to Britney Beers, they've got to be decided down to win the time on that first hole. They did really well at holding that first point. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's, it's kind of unfortunate that, um, that that happened, to be fair, because Britney Beers looked really strong and looked like they were going to hold them. But I think that snowball effect happened again. Once those kills started coming through, it was just kind of like, that's it, that's it now. You kind of you've got to push forward. You've got no choice but to to keep going and, and see what happens. Um, so we'll we'll see what we'll see what they do now. We'll see what to be decided decide that they want to do, um, and we'll see what um, Brittany decide they want to do on their defence. We've got the Torb and the the Torb, the Mercy and the Bap again. Obviously, Dia has picked the Reinhardt. Chuck will potentially be going on to the Diva. Iskra, instead of being on the Tracer this time, is on the Echo. Um, which, you know, could be pivotal. That that duplicate could actually change a fight. Um, 
and then we've got the uh, the wrecking ball. Cormac King has decided to stay on the wrecking ball, which is which you know messed Britney up a little bit last time. So let's we'll see what they decide to do. Excellent on the far end, right, being supported by Becca on the main team. You'd be a little bit worried right now, but it's a good. I think it's a good choice not going for Sombra because you've only got a minute, and you want to get as you want to do as much damage as you can. So, but yeah, we'll see. This is this is for Britney Dears to win. Britney Dears want to win this, but oh, to be decided getting the kills. I I don't think Britney Dears right now know how to deal with the, the wrecking ball. I don't think they they're quite ready. I don't think they're expecting it. Iskra on one health, they're trying to get out, being chased down by the far end. Uh, but they get the kill out of the one, um, and Iskra might just be did manage to get out, but again he's on really low health, so he gets that kill. DM wanting to contest, but he's by himself. And now we're going into overtime. So Britney Dears have got to be really careful here because overtime staggers will be really crucial. They'll allow to be decided to push. DM needs to decide whether him and his team are pushing together or whether he's going by himself. Call me King just keeps putting the pressure on the back line and getting out. Here's the Nano from Pussy. And Nano's, and then two go down. Britney, Britney needs to decide to fall back. Reset and uh, well, unfortunately, Big Richard looks like he's being staggered. He is in the background um, and he's being chased down. Looks like he might be able to get out, but there you go, there's the stagger kill. And now Big Richard has to win to spawn. Again, we've got overtime spawn, so it gives to be decided space to push right now. And this could be crucial, this could be crucial. Again, Britney Beans do have this superior time bank, so that you know that will work in their favour, but right now. Uh, Britney Beers needs to reset. Yeah, Only King just went that hard drive. Yeah, There's Shaka being blocked. There's the barrage. It's for getting one kill onto Pokin though. To be decided they're getting the kills though. They're, 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 they're doing the important thing and they're getting the kills. And this has been an overtime push so far guys. Right now to be decided are saying okay it took us a while last time but this is how we do it now. I think it was a really good choice sticking with the Wrecking Ball. Bit, bit, you know, Britney Beers unfortunately don't know how to deal with it. I mean, Holy Chuck's just getting up to a, a bomb right now, um, and I think that might be the first of the game. And if that's because of these overtime staggers, oh, they almost went off point then. There was almost nobody on point for the side to be the side, and it almost ticked down. But they get the kill out of Colby King. This is this is it now, guys. Britney Beers have got the time to push forward, and there's two for the for the. Um, the res has disappeared for Britney for to be decided. Britney are getting the kills, and that's it. Britney Beers have halted them, just outside of point three. But that's a that's a tough thing to do now. Britney Beers have got a tough act to follow. Britney Beers have got to get just as far, and that point not one of them needs to further. So we'll have to we'll have to see what happens on the side of Britney Beers. To be fair, Britney B's attack was quite strong and it was quite fast. Obviously, we can tell that by the superior time bank. So, to be decided, have to make a decision as to whether they're going to defend how they defended last time and give Britney that space, or whether they're going to try the Sombra again. Ready for battle. But it looks like we've got the Arissa Sigma coming out on the side of to be decided. Then you've got the Soldier and the... Cree and the Bap and the Mercy. You can see a Genji from Iskra, which is something we haven't seen before, uh, we haven't seen played yet. Uh, Dia is sticking with the Rhyme. You've got the same support line of uh, Arna and Mercy. Um, and then Strozzle is on the Ash. I think they were expecting the Farah, but it's a double hit scan on the side to be decided. So there might be some changes made for Britain. Uh, Holy Chug might come out on the uh, Diva. Well, I wonder if we'll see a Sigma. One. Got here. There we go, the Diva on the side of uh, Brittany. That's a perfect charge for Dia there. Uh, right now, to be decided, are just giving Brittany space. They're allowing them to push forward. Isra is uh, pressuring from the top, but right now he's working into a double shield. So there's not much they can do. The nade um, onto Hoping could have been crucial, but have they just backed off and given space? 
right now Brittany are having to go around this corner. This is this is where Oh Brittany are getting the kills so though. This this could be crucial for Brittany. Brittany have just got to decide to push forward. Stronghold is doing work on the ash. Um, and then they are they're just pushing forward now, getting the kill on two poking. It's just call me king left. Uh, they just have to deal with call me king and then they can push the two first poke. I wouldn't be surprised if um it's going getting stunned and then potentially uh, going low, but never, not quite getting finished. Um, and Brittany are pushing forward. Two minutes left on the time bank for Brittany Beers. Uh, they wanted to get that stagger kill onto FB, but couldn't quite do it. Uh, the shots are coming through while B is in, D is in there by himself. The charge of the deer as well. He gets nanoed. He could now push into this room. Poking does go down. So it potentially did work out in their favour. They get x -Liv. They get Becca. And then they get FB as well. Right now, Brittany are pushing forward. They, they're being just as aggressive. They're saying, we're not ready. We're not finished. We are not finished right now. We want this. As much as you want this, we want this as well. So there we go. Brittany Beers are pushing it forward. You have got ults on the side to be decided though. You've got Valk coming up. There's also Visor. And there is the High Noon. Uh, Visor has been quite successful for FB previously. So we'll see what he they decide they want to do with her. Uh, somebody is sleeping on the side of the world. There you go. Rosaria is sleeping. FB getting taken out before he can use that Visor though. Which is crucial. Uh, we've got ults coming up. He gets, the res comes through. But there's the Bob for Brittany Beers. In a wonderful position as well. There's three fantastic shatter from Dia there. And Britney Beers are pushing it forward right now. Britney Beers are not finished. They do not want this match to end right now. They are fighting for that position. So we'll see what happens. You've got you've got Valk, Deadeye, Visor, potentially a coalescence, and then a grab if you can wake up with. Chuck's got Bob, there's Nano. There's Visor, there's Blade. And the bomb finds FB, so FB was using that Visor and got killed out of him. There's only 10 seconds left though, so to be decided, could could finish this right now. Brittany Beers needs to get out. I don't think anyone from Brittany is going to be able to touch. This is it, it could just end right now. And that's it. Just like that. And that's really unfortunate. It's it, it's situations like that where you don't realise that the time bank is important. And once that one kill is found, you should just get out of there straight away. I suppose it's a bit of a saving grace that uh, Chuck goes away with the, the, uh, the play of the game. Find him to, um, well, there you go, the, the triple kill. With the back getting thrown off the map. Well, there we go. To be decided, taken home, third spot, and Brittany... Britney Beers will be finishing in fourth place. It's really, really unfortunate. It's, it's, um, I, I, it felt like it was going to go all the way there. It felt like uh, Britney Beers were fighting, and they were. Britney Beers were really fighting for that. They were really ready to make that not just the last map, but then they wanted the fourth map. So, you know, props to them. Props to them for fighting for that and, and doing really well. Um, and props to both teams. The, we saw on both sides really you know high level play you know a, a flex between roles as well playing different roles just as impressively as as other roles you know so that's unfortunate it really is and I you know my heart goes out to Brittany Beers but they put up a really good fight just then a really really good fight and they were they were they were close they were really close so but you know what I mean it's the end of the season there's the off season there's next season and fighting the way they did there who knows what could happen next so yeah we'll um, check in with chat and then we'll see what happens in regards to the um, we'll see what happens in regards to interviews and such so yeah let's have a little look um Yeah, Dia was a bit of a beast on that round, to be fair. Dia, I think... Yeah, to, to be honest, I think if... Um, if if Brittany hadn't have pushed forward on... 
to be decided to tack and the tanks wouldn't have been taken out so early. Potentially it could be a different situation right now. We could have been going to the map four, but it's unfortunate. Um right, let's have a little look. Hello. Hello. What's up? How how's it going? Pretty good. Doing all yeah. right. I'm well I'm glad to hear it. Uh, commiserations like but really well fought. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Did you um I I think we're just waiting on Strozzle to join us as well, yeah, is that correct? Yeah, I think he didn't realize he's in a different <laughs> group, so he can't he was trying to figure out how to join. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, yeah, so um, I suppose I'll just I'll just have a little chat with you and then we can uh, fill yeah. Strozzle in when he joins. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether Token will be joining us or not. She might want to join us. I'll join. Well, there we go. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, so, oh, well, there we go. Strozzle's joined us now as well. Let's wait for him to join the voice channel and then we'll, uh, we'll get underway. See what happens. Oops. There we go. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Um, so as, as I just offered to uh, Richard there, commiserations, um, because I personally, from a caster's perspective, I was ready for that to go to map four then. Um, I really, really, really thought that it was going to go all the way. Um, unfortunately, the time bank just kind of, it got yeah, to we you. Just, we mistimed our push. It happens. Yeah. yeah. No, but, um, I, so... What what's the feeling at the end of that then? You know, we were like, so we're just together to have fun in this league, like for the most part. All of us are in other leagues. This was just kind of like we're chilling and hanging out. So we were, we were happy no matter which way it went because we were just having fun with it. As you, there were a lot of memes that were happening, just a lot of a lot of good times. So, you know, we yeah. we weren't too mad about it. Okay, yeah. what about yourself, Strozzle? Yeah, definitely a good time had by all, I'd say. I mean, no going into it. I mean, pretty friendly with uh, most of the people on TBD, so it's always a fun time playing against them, so. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I got to give it to you, to be fair. Watching the, like, a higher level play that I play at was quite interesting because, I mean, I think yourself, Richard, at one point you were on tank. And then you were you went over to the support role, and and, I'm, and in both instances it was interesting to see that you were able to play both roles at a high level and uh, have an impact. So you know it's it's really 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 interesting to watch, to be fair, and to cast. So I appreciate that from from both you guys. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. it's it's always fun to flex around. Like just playing one role, the time gets kind of stale. So like being able to flex around and play the different ones is always makes the game more fun for me. It also yeah. just helps you out in your other roles too. Being able to exactly. know the other roles just makes you better at the one you really want to play anyway. Yep. Yeah. Um, I did just want to say as well that like, as a team, it, I have to give you props because you, a lot of the time, saw what to be decided were coming out with and you made switches and then if, if the fight started and it wasn't going so well, you'd make sure the ult got used and then you'd make a switch. I mean, on King's Row, I think Strozzle, you came out initially on the Farah and then as soon as you saw that the hit scan was out there, you swapped off it straight away, and it was like the decision was made quite instantly to be like, okay, let's not waste time, let's just get in there and give the best fight that we can. Yeah, there's no point in trying to force it if it's not going to work. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, what what I would want to ask is, how was it? Um, it kind of felt like wreck uh, call me king coming out on the wreck and ball threw you off a little bit. Was it something that you weren't expecting or? I mean, uh, I, to be fair, it was more the, it was more the far that was throwing us off than the ball. Like the the ball was like he was displacing some, but he really wasn't that big of a hindrance. He just kind of boop us and then go away. It was more of the far that was pumping damage in the spam damage that was yeah causing us issues. Kairos is definitely the the main agitator and all of that, kind of just throwing a wrench into things. So I wouldn't say yeah, uh, that's what I would say would be the the main issue. Yeah, no, fair enough. To be fair, it, it, obviously this is your time for interviews, but I think the, you could see on the side of to be decided the Farah 
was unfortunately putting in work. Um, but I will have to say, at the end of King's Row on third point, they went into that with a five and a half minute time bank. And they didn't complete until there was five seconds left on the clock. So you you really did show that once they got off the far air, it was like, well, okay, so what are you going to do now? I think Strozzle on the high ground at the Ash being damage boosted by the Mercy, just it, you just put work in and you said to them, come on, keep fighting because we could do this all day. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much how it went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I... I personally really, really appreciated being able to cast this tonight, and I really appreciated, you know, having to keep up with the intensity and the speed that it was played at. So, thank you very much for putting on a good show, and for showing us that even when it feels like you're out, that's not that's not how we play, you know. Oh, hundred sure. percent. Thanks for casting. Yeah. yeah is there anything you guys. you'd like to add? So. Um, what has been your guys' favorite moment playing in this league like this season so far? Ah, uh, that's hard. Big questions. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard, hard to remember like specific stuff like that. Um, well, it could even be just like know. hanging out with your like, the friends, yeah, the I team. Yeah, I mean, this is like we're all on other leagues together, like either against each, each other or on the same team. Like everyone in this group is like plays together somewhere else, so it's nice to like come together and like a more this. It's more of like a casual one team mm-hmm. for us like we, we aren't trying as hard like we're just here to have fun we aren't really here to like really put an effort like we'd like to win but like it's not as big of a deal for us it's just like hanging out and like having fun together mm-hmm. so it's nice to have yeah. a, a league where we can come in and do that together and just like chill yeah i'd agree it's just a nice place to decompress and still have some fun and just playing against some fun teams in the league as well mm-hmm so what you're really saying is, is next time when the next league starts, you're you're gonna try. You're not just gonna take a chill and then you'll win. Well, well, maybe if we uh, we could probably throw a scrim or two in there. Who knows? Maybe change yeah. it up a little bit. Who knows? We didn't, we didn't we scrim at all for, for the league <laughs> once this season. Yeah, we can maybe whole, do it um, once. Yeah, our whole uh, our whole game plan was kind of just throw throw something at the wall, see what sticks, and it kind of worked most of the time. And then obviously there yeah. was. You know, you can't win them all that way, but we had fun. That's yeah, of course. Yeah, well, again, thank you. Um, and obviously, I hope you have a good night and thank hope to well. see you next season. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, all the best, guys. Yes. GG's. Thank you. Jeez. Right, um, I think we are... Who are we getting in now? We're taking Mo Black and Iskra, is it? Bean. Or is it We're Mo Black and Mo Bean? We're taking Mo Black and Bean. Bean. Okay. <laughs> Mo Black and Bleed. <laughs> Even though I accidentally kicked him out <laughs> halfway through the game. I was like, oh no! <laughs> this is why I don't cast. <laughs> no, you did a good job. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? It's good, yeah? How are you? We're doing great. <laughs> good. Hey. I imagine you are. Are you with us as well, Bean? Yeah. Right, Wicked. Well... First of all, guys, congratulations. Obviously taking away the W today. Um, I think uh, initially, obviously, let's just start with that last map with Rialto. How how did it feel towards the end then? Was it getting a bit sweaty coming on oh, the map bridge? To, to be honest, we were spectating because we, were, we oh. sat out that map. I play. know, okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. This is but, why um, I don't cast. <laughs> it's, it's not your fault, it happens. But we, we were still, like, looking to, since we were at, for half the game, we were on the enemy team, we were just looking to see where our, where our team positioning was and seeing how they would push and stuff like that, so we kind of got to see it from the other side. And we're, we're kind of a scary team. <laughs> yeah, no, um, that's fair enough. The only thing that I didn't think was working out on our side was we had a Sombra on attack and they had a Torb on defense and it took us yeah. forever to get anything going but as soon as they, they, they realized that it wasn't working, I'm assuming someone told him, you know, to switch over or do something else and he went to Soldier and, and he popped off. Yeah, I mean even um, obviously being in the spectator perspective I imagine it got a bit sweaty towards the end because yeah. it actually was going to a back four just then. Yeah, our so. tanks tightened it up too. I saw the Killer went, or Call Me King went, um, 
The ball. The ball. And he started doing really good mines. He got, what, two people? I think it was the Lucio and the Tracer, like, on yeah. point three. Yeah. And that was really clutch. I mean, we did, we, we, I mean, we capped it with a lot less time, but you saw how our attack looked after that. No, well, I mean to be to to give props to the to your team of to be decided, um, even though um, Britney Fears Britney Beers sorry finished with the superior time bank that that overtime push went from first point all the way to just before third, so it was it was really really well fought and you, they got that snowball going. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so. that's what we were afraid. Me and Bean and I were talking in spectators and we saw that we capped that much with just a minute left and they had three minutes to do the same i thought we were going to uh -huh. do great we were talking like the only thing that's probably going to mess us up is if their tanks pop off and sure enough deer was popping off yeah yeah to be fair you, they put up a fight they really did put up a fight and i think the ball coming out from colby king from a casting perspective is what changed it i, I don't agree. think britney beers were ready for the to deal with the ball um I, I and i think agree. it it, it did it did enough disruption and he kept going in and getting really low but getting out and they couldn't complete that kill so i think mm -hmm. that that made the difference um uh, but yeah another this thing too that i noticed was the diva run that they had was crazy right there on that overtime push that we're doing was crazy because our ryan couldn't get close because every time he did that diva would just melt him and it was, uh -huh. it, was it was hard to watch as a tank main just to yeah. watch Pokemon fall out like that, but we, we tightened it up and figured stuff out at the end. We were able to stall that, that one little piece that we needed. Yeah, definitely. And, I mean, obviously, if we, we have a little chat then about uh, the matches that you were in. I believe both of you played King's Row, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. What were you playing being in King's Row? I was the Bab. Yeah, the Baptiste, ah, yeah. That's right, that's right. So did, um, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, initially, I mean, I've, I've played... A tank with you at, at different points Mo Black every now and then but you've been the off tank and I was the main tank so it was interesting yeah. watching you play Reinhardt um, and oh, you guys yeah. you guys snowballed them basically they, they they gave you space you took first point and then it was when you got to the end you had a five and a half minute time bank and they got you down to five seconds like you had yeah. five seconds left on the clock um, and so, just what was the thought yeah, there? Um Honestly, I didn't think we were, we were going to get point like that. They gave it up by pushing around Hotel on uh -huh. the left. We decided to push. And I forget what the opening pick was. I want to say the Lucio got trapped. And from there, I think I fire strike the Lucio. We just rolled on him. And then after that, they couldn't really recuperate too much. Um, mm -hmm. So they started backing off. And we cap point pretty easy there. And then from there, ar around those corners on the S turn, like, you can just push up your tanks as far as you want, and they're just going to have to wait. There's nothing they can do but wait. And they did the same thing to us. Yeah, it was. A, you, you you bang on the mark there. It, a lot of the times it was Chuck who was playing the Lucio that was the first kill. And because mm -hmm. Britney Beers didn't have that speed boost anymore, you guys had the ability to just push forward with the extra damage and say, we're here, what are you going to do about it? Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and it was, I think we made the decision to leave a junk round on point and Bean came with us, so Bean was keeping us alive, and every, like, five seconds, yeah. I felt like she said, I have windows, so she was doing great. <laughs> yeah. no, she, those, was the she was basically orchestrating the tanks, telling us, like, hey, back up, back up, or reloading, doing this and that, so hats off to Bean. So, yeah, well, let's let's go to you with that then, Bean. How did, how did King's Row feel for you? I don't like King's Row, so I try to get over it, like, as fast as I can. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Well, I mean, you did but, uh, initially. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying. I'm trying to learn back. Like, I don't. I haven't really been playing in like a lot, so like, I just. Uh, I feel like Bap is like one of my worst. You had some really good I mean, lamps well, thrown out. From yeah, when I was watching. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, positioning it is like my biggest fear because like I always position them like out in the open or like whatever when I should be positioning them like you know um, in cover but thankfully I did that and like but I noticed like uh their diva like would always like really like hone in on it so I knew it was like only a couple of seconds of like actually working but but I think that, that, that plays to your advantage because you've got somebody having to focus the lamp then. And while they're focusing the lamp, they're not looking at you. 
So I think it, you, you like, I mean, I like Mo said, your windows were always kind of up within like 30 seconds of the one just being used. So I think it, as, as a team, especially on the first map, you were really, really dominant. And then on the second map, Kings Row, like I said, you just kind of rolled them and then you held them. It was, it was a bit weird for me because at one point, Mo, towards the end of um, Brittany mm -hmm. B's attack, you got solo grabbed around the corner from the point. Like oh. you were in that, you were in that little bit yeah. by yourself. <laughs> so what but happened was someone from called out the, Yeah. So what happened was someone called out that they were going high left. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I saw the junk rat, whoever, the, whoever the hell it was. And as soon as I hit the charge, I, I was charging from far away, so I didn't think they were gonna yeah. see it. And <laughs> the Ryan stepped up Iskra, and he was half health. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the kill on this guy. I just don't know where I'm gonna land because I was trying to hit a wall anywhere. And yeah. so I killed him. I told myself they don't have. Any, I knocked down two people with me, so I turned around, hit Shatter. I think I got the Moira, and then the Zarya bubbled. So she solo grabbed me. I killed the yeah. Moira, and then at that time they were already down like two or three, and no ults left, and Zarya was just out of position, way out of position. Yep, and then so, the, the Lucio tried to get a point to touch, but got body blocked by your Sigma, and didn't get there in time. <laughs> so it's like. It's nuts. I was like, why have they just solo grabbed him? What's going on? Yeah, it's, I didn't know what was up with that. I honestly was not yeah. expecting to get solo grabbed, especially at the end of the fight when you need to, like, yeah. go down car. I don't know if it was just, like, yeah. if he probably felt he had more people with him, because then that would have worked out. Yeah. But I think he didn't know what the what the kill feed said, because I, I want to say that we're down two at that time, because I killed the Ryan and I shattered the Moira. Yeah, I remember, I remember they were down, and I think it was... I think it is... From from like a casting perspective, if you do ask those questions as to like why has that just happened, mm -hmm. but I think you are right. It's just a case of not understanding that what's happening at the game at the time. And unfortunately right. for Brittany, it's uh, come down to time bank again. Like with Rialto, they, uh, they um, Richard said to us they kind of timed that last push wrong because they didn't realise the time bank was what it was. Um, so oh, essentially really? had the same thing. Potentially had the same thing happen on King's Row, so. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, hats off to those guys because I know those guys are off rolling too because they can't really play their mains. But even off rolling, they're still, you know, a really great team and they pushed us to the limit. I mean, the score might not show yeah. it, but the fights sure show it. No, well and truly, well and truly, you both teams put on a really good show tonight and fought really well. So, hats off to both of you and obviously. Congrats on taking away the win um, and securing a third place in the league as well. Let's go, Bronze. Let's go. Our first season <laughs> of the year. <laughs> right. So, All right, you plans guys. for the off season then? Um, me, Bean and I were talking about that, and she, it doesn't sound like she's going anywhere. Uh, this was Be Becca's retirement match, actually. She's done with uh, leagues, but she's still going to help out with our team and stuff, so I appreciate yeah. that. From that. But um, season's mm -hmm. over. We're going to take a break, and then we'll reconvene to see who's staying, who's going, and who's, you know, we'll figure it out. Come back even stronger. Yeah, for sure. Of course. But yeah, GG's, guys. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Thank you guys thank for you. casting. You guys have a great night. You too. You too. Yeah. Good night. Bye, Bean. Bye-bye. Bye now. Well, there we go, eh, Token? That's Hello. it. Hello. We're done. We just gotta decide MVPs. Alrighty. For Tank, <laughs> who are you thinking? Um, right, okay. So this is so we've gotta do two for to be decided and one for Britney Beers. Oh, I thought um, it was just The the winner is gets it? two two MVPs and then the loser gets one. Oh okay. Yeah, so um I think I kind of want to give it to Big Richard on support, just because uh, on Rialto, the, um, I think his, the, well, the nades that he was getting as well as the narrows yes. that he was supplying. But now that we've just heard about, we were just speaking about being and stuff, and mm -hmm. actually thinking about it, the, the, their support was really, really kind of up there and at a high level, and the windows were pretty consistent. So, And considering she doesn't play that very much, she was killing those... Lamps. Well, yeah, that's that's very very true. Um, so, hang on, let's just have a look at the SR checks to see who's on who we've got. I know I would love to give Deer MVP for Tank because just seeing the fights, 
he was always up in there and just like if he was able to get in there the other team crumbled yeah yeah okay right okay so this is this is how i would say then because that was the only one i couldn't really decide which one was going so if we say dia for tank on britney that's their mvp Mm -hmm. and then if we give bean the support mvp and then we give x live yes that's exactly what i was also thinking yes okay all right cool that's that's it that's decided then all (laughs) righty well thank you for being our beautiful commentator and thank you for being our beautiful camera lady. Anytime. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. When the next game yes. is and um, what we've got coming up. Yes. Um, so I know the next fire team uh, will be Horrorcore Gaming versus NanoValk, and that will decide who takes home the championship. Um, so that will be quite an interesting uh, match to watch. And I believe if I'm correct. That will be happening Saturday the 9th of October at 8pm Central Time. Um, And that is our next match that is coming up, so that will be happening this Saturday at 8pm. And that will decide the championships for the Fire tier. But yeah, other than that, I believe we've got uh, one coming up next week. Uh, We should potentially have two happening next week. Um, and then we will also have our community pub night happening next week as well. But there will be more information around that, and we'll also be able to advertise it on our social media and stuff to make sure that we everybody knows when that is happening. Yes, be but looking yeah. for my beautiful posters that I've been making and putting up all yes. over on all the social medias. Yeah, and if you're new to the Twitch, come and check out the uh, Bronze Tacos Overwatch server. Um, and I'm sure there is a link attached to the Twitch, so... That's where you'll be able to find us. But yeah, other than that, that's us signing off. Thank you. Yeah.